Hi there, I'm Matthew and I'm here with Pico at ARMS 2023 um, and we've just released the new version of uh, Pico VNA uh, version 5.2.6 and with 5.2.6 come a load of great new features uh, to do with remote control and the SDK. Um, so I'm going to uh, dive into uh, some of those features. Um, in this video we're going to be concentrating on remotely controlling the uh, Pico VNA 5 software um, via Skippy. Um, so, uh, let's have a look at what we'll be doing. Um, I'm not going to start with the Pico VNA5 software. I'm going to start with the application I've written to remotely control Pico VNA5 via Skippy. Um, and uh, this application is uh, written in Python, um, but equally um, I could be controlling Pico VNA5 remotely from MATLAB, from LabVIEW, Simulink, um, or um, the uh, programming environment uh, of your choice. Um, so, uh, in this program, uh, which is uh, available online, um, all the code that I'm going to be uh, using today um, is available online, um, I'm using the scikit-rf toolbox um, in order to model a circuit. Um, the circuit that we're modeling um, has a 6dB attenuator going into some RG58 RG coax um, and going into a bandpass filter. Um, and if we take a look at the code, um, the first thing that I do in this uh, Python program is to um, import data for the attenuator and bandpass filter. Now, initially, I'm going to be using um, emulated data, um, and then later on, we're going to switch over to Pico VNA5 and collect some uh, real data uh, to use in our circuit model. Um, so now if we go uh, down in the program a bit, uh, uh, we then... Um, use scikit-rf's um, model for the RG58 coax um, and uh, then we embed the attenuator, the coax and the bandpass filter uh, together into our network simulation. Um, and then uh, at the bottom of this file uh, all we do is um, plot the output data. Um, so let's run that and see what it looks like. And uh, here's the output from the simulation. Um, so it, you can see, really see here that I'm using an ideal model for the bandpass filter. Um, we've got this uh, very square response in S21. Um, and you can also see that actually my simulated models for the uh, filter and uh, also the attenuator aren't actually that great. Um, this uh, ripple is indicating that um, the match between the uh, attenuator and the filter uh, it isn't that great. So what we're going to do is switch over to Pico VNA5. We're going to record some real data um, to use in place of uh, our ideal bandpass filter and attenuator. Um, and then we're going to use the remote control Skippy interface in order to import that real data back into our emulated circuit model. Um, so let's switch over to Pico VNA5. Um, and you can see here that already Pico VNA5 is measuring um, the bandpass filter. Um, but um, this is a tunable bandpass filter. And before we import this into our circuit model, um, I'm just going to tune this bandpass filter um, so that it has the center frequency I want. So what I've done here is um, magnify into the uh, region around the passband of the filter. And I want the passband to be centered on 4850 megahertz for this application. So I'm just going to put a marker on 4850 so I can see what my goal is. Um, I'm going to speed up this sweep a bit. So I'm going to um, use a narrower bandwidth so that I can tune this filter in real time. And I'm just going to try and center the passband of the filter where I've got the marker. And we can see this updating in real time as I tune the filter on the screen. So there we go. Passband is close enough to centered on 4850 for this demo. So what I'm going to do is um, stop the magnification. Um, and for now, I'm just going to save the data from the uh, bandpass filter to a memory channel um, because uh, we still need to measure the attenuator uh, for use in the simulation. 
Um, so, um, Stuart, um, any chance we could switch over the uh, DUT from the bandpass filter um, to the attenuator? That's awesome, thanks. So um, here's a um, measurement of the um, attenuator. Let's just switch the bandwidth back to uh, one kilohertz. Um, and let's also save the uh, attenuator measurement to memory. Okay, so um, that's all we need from the user interface in Pico VNA5. So um, let's switch back to the simulation and have a look at the code that's going to um, import the data from Pico VNA5 into my simulated circuit. Um, so you can see I've written this function um, import data um, and um, into import data we pass the index of a memory channel um, in uh, Pico VNA5. Now the actual code that I'm using um, to uh, transfer the data from Pico VNA5 into the simulation um, is all available um, in our software development kit that's online. Um, so uh, these lines of code are really just a copy and paste job out of the SDK where we have examples in um, Python, MATLAB, C++ um, and uh, we're constantly growing um, the list of programming environments that we have um, examples available for online. Um, so we uh, connect to the VNA here um, and um, then uh, we import uh, each of the four S parameters here. Uh, now, an alternative way I could have done this is export the data to Touchstone via Skippy um, and then import it back in from Touchstone. But here, um, we're just transferring the data directly as lists of ASCII values. Um, so I'm going to import that data for uh, each of the um, attenuator and the bandpass filter uh, here. Um, and then we're going to just uh, rerun the simulation. So let's do that. Um, let's uh, change this over to use the real data. Um, and there we go. Um, so we can immediately see that we've got the uh, more realistic uh, model for the bandpass filter in use here. Um, and uh, we've got um, an insertion loss um, of about uh, 7 dB here, 6 dB from the attenuator um, and 1 dB from the filter itself. So um, this is just a uh, short demo showing some of the remote control features that are available for Pico VNA5. Um, there are a whole lot more um, that allow us to uh, directly control um, all the features um, that you'd expect to be able to control remotely via Skippy. Um, we have the software development kit online. Um, you can download this from the um, Pico, uh, Pico Technology website. Um, and um, we're also growing a very active community around the software development kit um, as we're moving all of our example code um, and uh, SDK releases um, over to GitHub. Um, so um, that's, uh, that's it for uh, this de demo. Um, please do check out the SDK and um, check out the um, Skippy programming manual for uh, full details of the available functions. Thank you for watching.